What's up, everyone? I uh, just wanted to uh, see this, check out this graveyard. This is in Shady Grove. Uh, they call it Indian Springs. Um, it's literally in the back of a subdivision. Uh, I'll spin around right here. Anyways, we're going to check out some of these graves. So, starting right off the bat, y'all can see this. Not in too good shape here. There's W.D. Coker, 1838-1912. Let's keep on doing some walking. Let's go look for some old ones. Oh, here's some older ones over here. Here is Gertie Mae Robbins, 1913-1915, gone but not forgotten. Uh, what's this other one over here? Lonnie, son of Mr. and Mr. E. Higgins. Uh, 12-4-18. We'll walk over here. Around it. Eighteen ninety-eight. I think that's what that is. All right, let's go here. There's another one right here. Check it out. Eighteen ninety-eight. Higgins, Edward M. Higgins, and Luila, Luila, Luella. There we go. Eighteen seventy-seven to eighteen ninety-eight. And 1863 to 1925. 1905, 1926. Miss um, Black. There's one over here. Ow. And nothing on it. Mother Martha Dodd, May 6th, 1842, September 30th, 1909. Emily Black Hicks, 1837, 1907, wife of James M. Hicks. He was buried upside of 1834 to 1911. Um, like I said, there's, this graveyard is right here in a subdivision. Hamos, Eaton, 1913 1953, I think it says. These are all 18s, 19s. Let's go check this one out over here. Get to the end of it. Ow! Briar. What a big old dog. January 1835 to 1911. I can't read the rest of it, but there you go. Another one right here. We'll brush it off before it gets buried. Nobody can find it. Tom Smith Jr. 1928. One here. This is 
no name on it. So I'm right here. You can see how y'all can see how I grew up it is. Oh, a lot of hicks in here. Another hicks right here. The father, Jonathan, Mary C. Look at this one right back here. It's cool. In memory of Job O. Hicks, I guess, field artillery. So that's a veteran. Died in 1919. Huh. That is not a military burial right there. That's some kind of scholars. No, that's a flag. One fact that might be Confederate. Battery A three sixteen field armory. Uh, somebody sees that and knows how to look that up. Um, let me know if that's a. Uh, it's got an American flag on it. So. All right, let's go. Y'all, I'm covered up with stickers. There's an Ethel Higgins. Died in 1953. Another Higgins. Sarah. Higgins, 1829-1913, though lost to sight to memory deer. All right, you know, they had a lot of sayings that I did not understand whatsoever. There's another Cooper. Jim and Ophelia, one died in 1918. The other died in 19, exactly 1900. Oh, I'm gonna take this unmarked grave because I about fell over it. Nice, Rufus L. Guess he did not. Uh, Rufus L. Carrier. Uh, 1880 to 1926, Nancy Carrier, 1882 to 1962, and John Michael Britton, January 1st, 1987. Some Britton's out of West Jefferson. Uh, his name was John Britton, also. Let's go look at this Violet Hicks back here. Hers is April 19, 1917. January 24th, 1918. Like you said, like I said, you can see that's how close to, it is to the graveyard here. Let's go back here. There's another one. There's a piece of rebar sticking up, but here's the edge. As you can see, this is the edge of the barrel plot that runs out through there. Uh, so we're not going to step off in there. Kind of a little superstitious. But I guess it's uh Dewey, Dewey Willard Early. Um born in 1917, 1987. Barbara Ann Early, uh 1933. I guess she's still alive. That would make her 90 something years old. A lot of Earlies, a lot of, a lot of Higgins, and a lot of Cokers up here. There's a bucket man right here. Ow. So here was the old headstone. There's some more, somebody put a new one there. A nicer one. So that, that was very nice of them. I think I've read these right here already. No, I have not, but I cannot read them. Let's go check this one out. 
parents of Blackston, Margaret and James Blackston. One died in 1934, one died in 19... Fifty-nine. Wow. Big difference. He was a hundred, almost a hundred years old. I bet this bush is pretty right here when it's bloomed out. But you see it sits right here on top of the grave. Which is cool. Really cool. And again. 19, uh, 1872 to 1953 and that was Martha Allen and Jesse Allen's was right there. Somebody planted, also planted roses right here. I'm trying to get around this grave. Let's see here. That was Cooper's Scylla and Lincoln. Um, let's see here, 1881 to 1958 and 1873 to 1936. Over here is Aunt Audrey Lou Trucks, uh, 1904 to 1961. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Here's a wood just one. This is right at the very front. Graveyard. And that is uh, Albert C. and Susie Myra Woodruff. 1886, 1965, 1888, 1931. There's also three plots over here. They are undoubtedly unmarked, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing on them. There's nothing on them. But there is one, two, and three. And there's the, the coker right, graveside right behind it. I'm going to step right outside this fence right here. Give you a full view of what it looks like sitting at the entrance. Also, like I said, this is it. There's trailers. And straight across the street, there's a house. And there's also other houses. I say if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. And here again, this is, uh, see the Indian Springs or Indian Meadow, but it's in uh, Shady Grove, right at the end of Shady Grove, uh, one street past Martin Drive. Uh, my next video is gonna be at the graveyard on Martin Drive. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great day.